Hi guys, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw the rose from Beauty and the Beast. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing the glass dome that the rose is in. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a cross and this is just one of the decorations that's on the glass. So right here, I'm just drawing a very simple cross. And then from there, I'm going to start to add some more decorations to this glass. So I'm going to come here and just draw a curve. And everything is going to be nice and centered to this cross. And then I'm just going to connect it. And then I'm going to bring out a bigger curve on both sides. And connect it. And then we're going to keep going. So we have one more. So there, I've got some details on the top hit right here. And then from there, we're going to start to draw that bell shape that's um, on this glass. So I'm going to come here and draw this neck part. It's going to curve out. And same thing on the other side. It's going to curve out. And then from there, you're just going to bring a big curve all the way down. As big, or, um, big as you want, or short or tall, however you like it. I'm just going to curve it big nice dome. If this kind of shape is a little bit too hard for you, you can always just draw a nice, um, just a big curve like this down up right here. That's the style of the old uh, Beauty and Beast one, but this one has a little bit more of a bell shape, so it's a little bit harder. So I'm just going to continue my curve, trying my best to match the other side, and it's not going to be perfect and it's perfectly fine. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to keep bringing it down. I want a nice big bell. So I'm just going to keep going on both sides just so that it makes it a little bit easier for me to match it. So I'm going to come down a little bit more. Let's see here. And then I'm going to keep coming down to about right. Here, I'm going to start to flare it out. And when I kept down about here, this is about the size of the bell I want, the dome. I'm going to flare it out even more and bring it around. So it's like making a, it's like drawing a bell. So I'm going to go to the other side so I know where I flared out. And now I can bring it in. So what I like to do is come to the center right here and just kind of go straight down and I'm just going to give myself a point so I kind of know that's where my center is on this bell and I'm going to be able to bring my curves down to this point right here. So it just makes it a little bit easier to make it more even. And connect it. So there, there's our bell shape right here and you can always come in here just draw a little curve right here just add some dimension to your um, glass okay so now finally the rose so the rose is an open rose I've also done a drawing already of a closed rose um, but this one is an open one so hopefully um, I'm gonna make this one easy for you guys to follow along too so about right here at the top I'm gonna start to draw this rose and I'm gonna start with a oval and it's gonna be a slight slant so let's say about right here start with an oval and this is going to be the center, the inside of the rose. And then from there, I'm going to bring a curve. So everything is going to revolve around this oval. So I'm just going to bring a curve out. And then I'm going to connect these, this line right here. Just bring down a line. And then I'm going to come around it and connect it with another curve. And so then from there, I'm going to make another curve at the bottom. So even a wider one that comes out. 
And then from there on the top right here, I'm going to draw two curves. Now it's going to be two petals. So it's going to be one. And then there's going to be another one. And connect it. So it's very much just like building, um, building these petals one layer by layer. So then I'm going to come down once again on this edge and bring down those two lines. And so then from there, now another petal. So I'm going to come about right here, not directly in the center, a little bit off to the side. I'm going to give myself a point and I'm going to bring out a curve. So I'm going to come up, come to that line and curve it around. So same thing on this side. And when you're drawing it, this doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical because it is a rose. It's very natural. So sometimes maybe this side will be bigger. Sometimes another side will be smaller. So don't worry about it if it's not exactly the same on both sides. So this is kind of like drawing a heart like that. And then from there, I'm going to bring it around. So same thing on this side and just bring it down. So then I'm going to bring this line down a little bit more. And then from there, I'm going to come about, let's say right here off to the side and I'm going to do the same thing once again. I'm going to go up, curve and bring it in. Same thing on this side, up, curve and bring it in. And then from there, I'm going to come around over here, draw a curve that connects back. So this is for the outside petal where sometimes the petals um, curls over. So that's what we're trying to do there. And then from there, finally, <laughs> the easiest part is to draw the bottom of the rose. So I'm going to come here, curve it a little bit in, a little bit in, and then draw it a nice little bowl like that and then we can just finish this off right here bring in the curve and just tuck it in nicely so there we've got our rose in so hopefully I made that a little bit easy for you guys to follow and um, so finally, let's draw the little leaves that are under the rose. So right here, I'm going to start to just bring one little leaf out. And maybe another one right here. I'm just going to draw three. And then from there, the stem part. So I'll come down here, a little angle. And then now I'm going to start to draw the stem. So I'm giving the stem a little curve. So I'm going to come down here and let's see. I'm going to draw this side first. So I'm going to go around and stop about right there. And so I'm going to just follow the same line. From there, let's draw the leaf. So I'm going to bring one up right here, little point, and then I'm going to draw this leaf. So I know, of course, rose pet, uh, roses have these uh, five leaf um, leaves. <laughs> they have those five leaves on there, but I just want to simplify this drawing. So I'm just going to put one big leaf right here. So I'm just going to come up, and right here, I'm just going to go up. Give us some zigzag a little bit because rose leaves have that little zigzag. And then a little bit here and then connect it. And then I'm just going to add a line right here and curve it along with the leaf. So same thing about right here. I'm going to pop out another one. So same thing. Bring out a little stem right here for the leaf. And then same thing, zigzag a little bit and curve, zigzag a little bit and curve. So I'm going to run up too much and then just bring in that line inside. 
So there. That's basically it for our rose, but then to make this look more like a, um, a glass right here, I'm going to draw a curve right here. So, and the way to do it is to very lightly just draw a curve that goes over around. Very lightly. And keep coming around like that. And so then it, now all of a sudden it looks like it's inside. Amazing, right? Just this little line right here. And you can break it up. It doesn't have to be one continuous line because it is glass and it's very fragile. So it's transparent. So, um, and then to add some more flair to this, you can make these little sparkle um, lines. So let's say about right here, very lightly, just draw across and then intersect it. So maybe one here, just to add some magic. <laughs> And by the way, I saw the movie already, and it's so good. I loved it so much. I practically cried the whole movie. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Let me just add um, one more up here. And um, that's basically it. I've drawn um, the new bell that was played by Emma Watson, so please check that out, and uh, Beast will be up next. So thanks so much for watching, and if you love my rose, please give me a thumbs up and share it, and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.